So click through for context. Um, in that video, I was discussing the meaning behind 1488. If you see someone using 1488 in their username or with a tattoo of that, or if they use that numerical symbol in any way, shape, or form, what they are explicitly communicating to you. And I want to talk about another one um, as well, which sadly is uniquely appropriate today, given that there was a mass shooting in Jacksonville, Florida yesterday, where a man in his early 20s, a white guy who was explicitly racist and absolutely hated black people, took an AR-15 and a Glock handgun and put on all of his tactical gear and a mask and went out to kill black people, period, specifically. And he killed three people, uh, two black men and one, and one woman, one black woman. And, you know, it was less than a year and a half ago that a mass shooter in Buffalo, New York, did the same thing in a black neighborhood at a grocery store, and he murdered 10 people. That guy had three or four guns, and he had stuff written all over them. He had 1488 written on, on his guns, and he had another symbol as well, another numerical symbol as well, 1352. And that is a, it's a uniquely American racist symbol, and it stands for the allegation that black Americans make up 13% of the population but are responsible for 52% of the crime in this country which is wildly inaccurate. But it also calls into question how the law is enforced in this country and against whom is the law enforced, especially in a criminal law context, which calls into question modern day policing and how it arose directly from slave patrols before the Civil War. And it also calls into account, you know, our justice system in this country and, and, and our prison population in this country. And, and along racial lines, it's like, why are black Americans overrepresented? It's because of policing. It's because of who makes prosecutorial decisions. It's because of the economic disparities when someone is criminally charged. You know, look at look at how the look at how. So of the 19 defendants who were indicted and were all booked into the Fulton County Jail this week, all but two of them are white. And the only member of that group of 19 who has not been able to find counsel, arrange bail, qualify for a public defender because he makes too much money but can't afford an attorney because, you know, attorneys are going to want a 50 or $100,000 retainer up front to represent him in this case. The only one of those 19 who remains in jail in the Fulton County lockup is a black man. And the shooter in Buffalo, he had 1488 written on his guns. He had 1352 written on his guns. The, the mass shooter yesterday had swastikas drawn on his AR-15. It's like, you know, I, I try not to be like too much of a Debbie Downer on this kind of stuff, but my fear is that all of this kind of stuff is going to get dramatically worse over the next year and a half. And it's directly related to Donald Trump's rhetoric and the rhetoric of the GOP uh, because of his indictments. Uh, and the closer that he gets to a trial date or the closer he gets to seeing the inside of a prison cell, all of this stuff is going to ramp up. It's all going to ramp up and it's all going to get worse. Anyway, so you see 1352 constantly on this app in the comments uh, of videos that people on the right put up, you know, involving, you know, black on black crime. Anytime they post a video about Chicago, you'll see 1352 in the comments. You see it in people's usernames. 
Same with 1488, but 1352, I think, is more common because less people, fewer people know what that means. And so it's just, it's something to keep an eye out for because if somebody is displaying, whether it's in their username or a profile photo or a tattoo, if they're displaying 1488 or 1352, they are communicating explicitly to you who and what they are. And it's important to be aware of that.